an anointing is mentored. If, if, if my son is an artist and I know that I can draw, he's my son. But I must get a mentor for him who will assist him to draw. Then I don't get worried when I take him to the mentor to go for the drawing classes that he will stay there and sleep there and not come back home. Mm -hmm. It is the duty of the father to get mentors for the son. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be a one-stop shop for everything. If your son, you see that there is a great anointing coming on him and that anointing is in an area that you are not specializing in, take your son to, to a teacher. Take your son to a mentor. Sons and daughters. Child professor. Your old man child, they shall dream dreams. And your young man child, now, there is a problem when the young man wants to see a vision that is outside the boundary of the dream of the father. There is a problem because you have to see, have a vision of what is a dream in the family. Do you want a verse for that? <laughs> we are addressing family here. We started with sons and daughters. Then we said old men and the, and the sons. Let me prove to you that this is family that is being addressed here. What is the next verse saying? And upon the servants, in the house there is a father, there is a son, and they are addressing the servant. They are talking about a family here. Don't take this outside family structure. Mm -hmm. It's going to give you problems. Mm -hmm. And if you still doubt that this servant, uh, it goes even further and say a maid servant, mm -hmm. that you call domestic worker. Mm -hmm. And because of us failing to understand what this sonship is all about, you know, when we, we, we put on our on our banners made servants. We think of it as the holiest of, of the, the, the anointed name that we are the made servants of the Lord. And yet here they, they have put you as the son and the daughter. You understand? It? Now they are addressing family here. You see, I ask you and I beg you with this request that was given to me years ago by my father. He said, take your Bible and go from Genesis to Revelations. Underline every place that says Father. Buy a new Bible. Underline every place that says Father. That Bible will be different. It's very difficult as a slave or an orphan to try to give interpretation to a royal house in which you don't belong. Mm -hmm. Everything that is written there, you have your own slave interpretation to it. Mm -hmm. You see today, everybody says, whom the sun sets free is free indeed. They have absolutely no idea where that thing comes from. Sonship is what the, the, the scholars call theocracy. Sonship, it's, it's, it's the constitution of the kingdom of God. Just like with you, democracy is, is your constitution. The constitution of the kingdom of God is sonship. And if you, if you try to enter in this kingdom outside this constitution, it's like a communist who comes to live and try to, to, to practice communism in a capitalist uh, country. And that's what we've been doing all these years. You come, you know that you're a communist, you are trying to give a communist interpretation of the capitalist uh, you know, economy. The kingdom economy is called Sanchi. Because when Jesus Christ was hanging on the cross of Calvary, the entire investment of the Father was hanging on the cross of Calvary. 
The whole investment, the whole wealth of the father was hanging on the cross of Calvary. And the devil knew that everything is in front of me. I can bring this family down right now. I can bring them down. And he also realized that the father has left the son. Because when he left him, he did not say that, you know, uh, my father, my father, why have you left me? He said, my God, my God. And the devil's eyes, they open. Wow. He's just calling him God. No more father. Something has truly happened. He has left him. And he had to leave his entire investment then trusting that Jesus, even outside the anointing, will remain in the oneness to keep that investment. He refused to leave the Father, even in the flesh, when the anointing had already departed from him. But he remained one with the Father. And that was our victory. Our victory was the oneness. Now, I'm, I'm just saying that that is the kingdom economy on the cross. The kingdom economy on the cross is not the Lord, it's the Son. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I tried to explain our problem of understanding, accepting the Lord, but failing to believe in the Son. Jesus Christ at all times, he introduced himself as the Son, not as the Lord. The Lord is the Lord over, over spirits. The Lord is the one who gives you salvation. The Lord is the one who gives you deliverance. The Lord is the one who takes you away from Egypt. But the Son is the one who shall give you inheritance. Now, our problem is that we believe in the Lord. But we don't believe in the Son. If you look at the Bible, in the entire book of, 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 of John, it's all talking about believing in the Son, believing in the Son, believing in the Son, but nobody sees it. Because we have taken this gospel from another angle, and we are comfortable with that angle. We have taken this gospel as slaves. <laughs> and that is why it is difficult to have a city church because cities don't belong to us. It is easy for the, the, the Islam to have a, a, a synagogue, I mean to have, to have a, a mosque in the city for all of them. But it is difficult for us to acknowledge that in the spirit there is a city church of Islam that God wants to address. There are certain things that God cannot speak to East London unless he speaks them to the entire church of East London. There are certain things that we shall not hear from God unless we bring the, the truth and the understanding that besides my own house here, there is a city church. When God was addressing the churches, within those seven cities. He was not addressing households, he was addressing churches. This is a household. And there, there are things that you cannot hear unless you come together as a city. God, there are things that God cannot speak until you recognize yourself as a city. There are things that God cannot speak until you recognize yourself as a body. So, if, if I go back to whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Where does that come from? I see that my tissues are all good. Worked out. You know, in, in the culture of, of, of the Jewish culture, what happens is that you are born, and when you are born for eight days, you are without a name. You know that. For eight days, seven days, you are here, but you don't have a name. You know that, right? At least you are honest. 
you don't have a name for seven days. You are not supposed to have a name. But on your eighth day, the father will appear. And when the father appears, uh, he appears with a knife. The first thing that a father appears with is a knife. A knife and a name. Only those two things, a knife and a name. When he meets the son, the first thing that touches the son is the knife, circumcision. There are many sons today, they want to be with fathers, but they don't want the knife of the father. That is why they do not arrive in their eighth day. They might be 52 years old, but they have not seen their eighth day yet. Now, when he comes, the first thing he must do, the knife, and give you the family mark. That's the first thing he must do, the knife, and give you the family mark. And then after giving you the family mark, the second thing he must do, he must give you a name, which is not just a name, but your, your name.